Today we're going to talk about Einstein's principle of equivalence. First, let's look at the case one. Assume we will have a rocket sitting on the surface of the Earth and at the rest. We have observer inside and we have an apple. There. So when we let apple go, this apple will going down with a gravitational acceleration g as defined by Newton. Newton's law of gravity. So in this case, the observer will see a gravitational force mg, where m is the mass of the apple. And Newton's law correctly explains what happened in this case. But let's look at another case, case two. If we have the same rocket, We have the same observer, we have the same apple, but now the rocket is in a deep space, deep space. What's a deep space? That's just a, a thought process. Deep space is where the rocket is very far from anything that has a mass. For example, it is so far away from any stars, planet system, any universe or galaxies, anything, so that this rocket and the, the object inside of the uh, rocket will not feel any gravitational force according to Newton's law of gravity. Because Newton's law of gravity says F equal to G M M over R square. When R is sufficiently large, F equal to zero. In this case, if you let the gold apple, the apple will stay at the rest inside the rocket. And at the same time, we assume again, the rocket is at the rest. And nothing would happen, everything stay the same. Now, let's look at the case three. We have the same rocket. We have same observer there. We have same apple and now this accelerate uh, rocket will have two or more kind of rocket fine firing so in that case this rocket will have acceleration let's say the acceleration is g in magnitude. Now what happened for the observer? He will see the apple start to drop and falling down with acceleration because he cannot tell when not the outer side is doing anything. All he can tell is the apple is dropping down fast and the crash onto the floor of the rocket. Even though he's in deep space, he shouldn't have any gravitational force, but he does not know. He cannot tell. 
He can all he can tell is apple is falling down, and if he measure that, he will feel that apple is experience of force F, which is equal to m g. M again is the mass of the apple. So. For observer in case one and for observer in case three, they cannot tell the difference. They cannot tell if their rocket is at rest or their rocket is at the uh, acceleration stage. All they can tell is、uh, both apples falling down exactly same way. There's no difference that he can tell. So based on this. We can conclude that case one and the equivalent to case three. This is so called the principle of equivalence. In another way to put it, and if from an observer outside this rocket, and we can tell in case one, this rocket is, is at the rest. Always moving uniformly at the constant speed, which is called inertial frame. And for case three, the rocket actually is accelerating from outside observer like us to look at the whole rocket in the deep space. We can call them non. Inertia frame, because the frame itself, like a rocket, is accelerating. It's not at the rest. It's not travel at the constant speed. It's actually changing its speed. It's accelerating. So we call that the non-inertial frame. What Einstein is saying that inertial frame and non-inertial frame. In the end, for the observer inside those frame, they should see the physics exactly the same way. The physics and its formula can be derived in the same way, present in the same way. That's why it's equivalent. So, in another way, we said in the initial frame. If we have gravity, in the non-inertial frame we have acceleration. Those two actually are equivalents. So you can also say the gravity is equivalent to accelerating frame. And that's the foundation that Einstein established and to build his general theory of relativity, which make the gravity. The equivalent of、uh, accelerating frame. From there, he derive all his theory. So next time, when we try to handle、uh, moment of object inside a、uh, non initial frame, we can use the equivalency. That means we can assume. Objects inside that non-initial frame by the observer travel with the frame will see an imaginary gravitational force, or just called imaginary force, equivalent to gravity. With that, the classical、uh, formula of Newton's Law can still be applied to obtain the、uh, moment movement of the object. So this is called the Einstein's principle equivalence. We'll use this to look at other example next time.